Hello everybody. As you can tell by the tape on the box, we've got another Bud K box. Now this is a different box here. This is actually two surprise boxes in one uh, because what I did was I got a mystery uh, fixed blade knife, uh, scratches and dents, and a mystery pocket knife, folding knife. So. Uh, looks like they just sent them all in the same box, which that's fine. So we're going to see what we got going on here. Got my good old handy dandy buck knife here. We'll see if it's, uh, we got a replacement in here. I don't know. So we got your standard. Uh, catalogs and shipping labels and all that stuff and we did let's see here uh, yep we got both kits in here now the uh i believe the fixed blade uh was 19.99 and the pocket knife kit uh i think it was pocket knives it just says knives yeah it is pocket knives the pocket knives was 22.99 and the fixed blades were $19.99. And we're going to see what we got going on here. Uh oh. Man. Right off the bat. Look at that thing. Okay. So we're going to do the pocket knives first, guys. We'll move this out of the way for a second. We're going to check out all these cool and wonderful pocket knives we got. And you know the thing with the uh, with Bud K is uh so I've said it before is I've never been disappointed with one of their boxes. And I know there's some guys out there that uh that kind of look down on this stuff, but I, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun to get these mystery boxes. It's fun to see what you got and uh most of the time you get a nice surprise in here. So the first one we're going to look at is this Black Legion there's the label and uh, it just says Black Legion on it it doesn't have a name or anything oh it's this little I've seen this in a few other videos from people it's just cool it's a it's like a fake butterfly knife spring assisted uh, feel sharp this is a plastic and it, uh, I'm, sh I'm, 100% positive that's stainless steel with some kind of coating on it. You know what? It's, it's not like a, it's not like I pull a Kershaw out of here or something. Right. Uh, but that's a pretty cool little knife right there. We'll just leave that right there. Next, we're gonna go to this one shot, one kill, uh, assisted opening pocket knife, and uh, SOA. See what we got here. Uh, there's the label for it. So right off the bat, I'm kind of digging this the shape and the color of it here. Let me move this trash out of the way. So again, it's you know, it, uh, is that plastic? No. Yeah, that is plastic, but spring assisted. That opened right up. It's got a nice clip on it sharp uh, that's actually a pretty cool little knife that that may be a truck knife there cool all right moving on here I mean, uh, i'm gonna keep these boxes together because i may give some of these away as, as gifts to people next we got this ridge runner there's the label guys let me tell you about this real quick the reason that this is my favorite knife to carry in my pocket is because it's got a safety on it so you don't accidentally have this thing like that in your pocket you stick your hand down in to get your knife and I, I've got a buddy that stuck a pocket knife all the way up in their hand so with this little safety on there it will not open until you push that safety
So we got the Ridge Runner. Uh, and, oh, all right. This is just kind of your standard looking little pocket knife. Yeah, it is super light. That is super plasticky. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any assist on it. It opens really nice and smooth. It is, like I said, it, it really feels light and cheap. Stainless steel. But you know what? That's a... It's just a little pocket knife you throw in your toolbox or something. Next we got the Grim Reaper. There's your label. And I have seen this in a couple of other folks' videos. I'm not real... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I like the fantasy stuff. But we'll, ch we'll check this out. We'll see. So it's super heavy. <laughs> you got this uh, Grim Reaper here. It's all inlaid here. And uh, of course that's plastic. But there is a lot of metal in here. Like I said, that's heavy. That's the heaviest of these knives I've pulled out. Did it lock? Yeah. The assist worked the first time. It's got a cool little shape to the blade there feel sharp there's no sense in doing like a for me you know i've seen people cutting paper and stuff and that's cool but uh they're gonna come sharp these pocket knives they'll sharpen the hell out of those before you get them some of the swords i've gotten uh you know have not had a good edge on them but the pocket knives you know you're usually they're usually gonna come really sharp uh, next we got the tomahawk and this is the last of the pocket knives the folding knives and uh, I kind of dig tomahawk stuff you know I, I've got a couple tomahawk machetes and uh, so we got this big giant bulky filling one and uh, it's got a little pattern there and you got your can opener uh, the SOA has a can opener too. I didn't mention that, but bottle opener. So you can you can crack open a cold one and then cut yourself. Well, that opened nice. Uh, it feels good, except I don't, I don't like that right there. Feels like that would uh, get on your nerves after a while. And it's, it's light. Uh, the Grim Reaper is by far the heaviest. Uh, it's a pretty cool little pocket knife. It's got a cool shape to it and everything. And uh, let's see here. I'm sure that those are all stainless steel. Uh, I want to get some uh, carbon steel uh, knives in the, here in the near future. So I'll be on the lookout for those. So we're going to move these off to the side for right now. And then we're going to start getting into these fixed blade knives and the first one we're going to open up is this Timberwolf custom steel series yeah do we have it in there's the label and uh see what we got here first off lots of bubble wrap and uh this feels super Super heavy and sturdy already. Oh, and this is a, this is another knife I've seen in a few other folks' videos, uh, and I believe, yeah, these are some of the ones they pack these in a lot of oil. Which I mean, I get it. Uh, let me grab a rag here real quick. So they pack these in a lot of oil to protect the blades. That's all cool, I get it, but it is kind of a mess when you open these. You can see how all that oil glistening. Put that back in the box. I get the, this oil all over the bed. My wife might not be too happy with me. All right, so. Kind of cool little knife uh you know you can you can tell this is a 
it's a nice knife uh i'm sure this is what is that like d2 is that what they call the kind of the generic steel that they use i'm sure if, if this was carbon steel or something it'd be stamped all over this thing it does feel heavy and sturdy though I, it doesn't feel like a bad knife it feels it feels useful i'll, I'll say that and, uh, yeah it's sharp it's sharp as hell and uh, we got this nice nice leather sheath for it uh, and there's when they manufactured this i guess uh there's there was a little bit of glue still sticky on the side so that's that's kind of a bummer could have at least wiped that crap off but it's still a cool knife and this is a cool sheath uh, i just don't dig getting that sticky crap all over my hands i'll clean it up though i'm not knocking a knife for that so cool knife got a nice sheath let's see everything fits nice and snug uh, it's a little loose right there just that's enough to come out and cut you but not knocking it it's a decent first knife we'll set that right there knife number two is the death dealer tactical knife and uh there's your label we're gonna open this baby up see what we got going on now right off the bat uh, i'm liking this better because i don't have a bunch of oil and stickiness all over my hands it's got the molded sheath molded plastic that is a uh, you know your bayonet style super light super light i will say this and i believe yeah these are the ones you can see the little bud k stamp on the blade these are made for bud k uh I'm telling you it's lightweight uh the grip i'm digging that grip it's kind of got a soft feel to it uh, it does feel like a nice useful knife i will say that got a wrench on the back so decent and uh it's nice see these are the kind of uh sheaths i dig not gonna slip out of there kind of like with the other knife uh the worry i would have is you know maybe you're hiking up a trail and it slips out and you you cut your finger on this part right here so now the star of the show and man I, this is another one and i know i say this a lot but i really was close to ordering this i've got a whole set of Han Shu swords there's your bud k sticker got a whole set of Han Shu swords and I, I really dig them nice construction and this is the you know you get your your bowie knife here and uh see if i can get that plastic tip off of there without cutting my finger what do you guys think there we go now that feels like a beast and this i'm sure let's see here it says uh I cannot read that number. I'm sorry guys, I'm blind. It does say it's stainless steel something. I don't know, but it's got a weird number on it. But I'm telling you guys, that, that feels like a beast in my hands. Let's see. Oh yeah, <laughs> it will. It will definitely shave my arm. <laughs> that, that came razor sharp. That that right there alone made the whole box worth it uh, it's got a nice well-made 
clean leather sheath for it. Super impressed. Let's see here. I don't know if you guys are getting the storms too, but it's been raining here for about a day now. All right. Super sturdy. That's that's the way it's supposed to fit in there. No slippage. That is clean. It's got a nice little tie here. Does look like some halfway legitimate paracord on there, your 550 cord. But man, look at that handle. That just feels feels awesome in your hand. Now that that's a knife. Man. Alright. So I will uh just like with the sword boxes, guys, I will run the prices on the screen for you so you can see uh, how much all this was worth and again the pocket knife set you get five pocket knives for 22 bucks so that's a pretty good deal and then you get three fixed blades for $19.99 and uh, this alone is worth that so we're uh we're well well ahead here put the prices down below another good box from bud k guys like i said i i collect these and i get these from bud k because they're fun it's fun to get a mystery box and see what you got yeah but this this is my big surprise here this is this is the star of the show so hope you guys enjoyed it we'll see you in the next video if you're liking these unboxing videos Give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments on the next thing you want to see me unbox. I'll try to branch out into more stuff than just swords and knives. But for now, it's kind of what I'm into. So you guys take care. We'll see you in the next video. All right, everybody. So researching the price of these knives. Uh, the pocket knives were really, uh, it was really hard to find anything about those. Uh, what I'm going to tell you about the pocket knives, the folding knives, is that uh, what you get for 22 bucks, you get five knives, right? You get five little kind of toolbox, tackle box, throw in your your car door and your uh, in the console of your truck, just a, a little pocket knife. Uh, they all seem to be in in really good shape. Uh, but these these are your cheap truck stop kind of pocket knives so uh, for 22 bucks is it worth five knives I would say so uh, some of these really like the Grim Reaper is really not you know my kind of thing but you know for 20, 22 bucks for five knives that's not a bad deal so you know uh, the, the the pocket knife uh, grab bag uh, is worth it in my opinion now, to the meat and potatoes here. The fixed blade scratch and dent set. Uh, was it worth it? Hell yeah, it was worth it. And I, there was a surprise in here. Even, even not just a big uh, toothpick, which I, that, I really dig that. That's like... Uh, but there was one of the other knives in here that was actually a big surprise to me when I went and researched it. And I was a, I was wrong about it. So, uh, first off, this little guy right here. Uh, let me pull up my price here. This is your typical uh, $17.99 uh kind of a I almost want to say like a swap meat knife it's cool knife it is uh, let me read here it is a stainless steel 3 CR 13 stainless steel uh, so this is your typical you know it's it's again a truck knife a, a camping knife you just throw it in a backpack or something 
Yeah, it's not one that I would go out of my way to buy, but it was cool to get in this set. And then we all know that this is this is the one I dig the most. This is awesome. Uh, everything I've got from Han Chu I really like. And uh, on the back of the box, they got a picture of their Spartan sword. That's probably going to be the next thing I buy from them if I don't get it in a mystery box here soon. Uh, but this was, and let me pull this up for you here real quick. These run for $58.98, $58.98. So, you know, I paid $19.99 for this box. And uh, the first knife over there was almost that much. And that was kind of the, the, the bargain knife of the bunch. You know, it was 18 bucks. This thing is $59, basically. And it's on sale from like $76. They always say everything's on sale, but I get it. But this is still... Uh, you would spend fifty eight ninety eight to get this knife if you just ordered it by itself. Now this, this uh, this one that I was kind of bitching about the sheath on here, it's a Timberwolf. Uh, and like I said, when I opened it, I told you it felt useful. It's it feels solid. It feels heavy. But I, I was kind of bitching about the oil that they put on it. And I was kind of bitching about this the glue that seeped through the, the sheath here. Both the stuff that's easy enough to clean up. But when I went and researched this little knife. It ends up that this is a $51.99 knife. Uh, and it is, uh, I mean, like I said, it feels useful. It's super, feels super heavy duty. You know, it just feels solid. Like, that's just a solid piece of knife. <laughs> Best way to describe it. Uh, it is a stainless steel blade, and it is sharp as hell. Uh, but I was surprised that this was a $51.99 knife. So that was the surprise of this. So what we end up with there is a uh, <clears throat> 100 just under $129 worth of knives in a $19 box. So I mean, yeah, that's well worth it. The pocket knife box, uh 22 bucks for, you know, five little um kind of truck stop pocket pocket knives that's fun it's 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 worth the money but uh, i probably won't get another one of those uh i just i've got enough little pocket knives laying around the house but uh really really surprised at uh at the value i got out of that uh three fixed blade scratch and dent box and then there was nothing wrong with any of those knives there was not a scratch and dent in anything i got there Maybe the maybe the glue on the sheath, maybe that was the, the scratch and dent part of it, I don't know. But yeah, nineteen bucks, a hundred and twenty nine dollars worth of knives. Definitely I'll be getting another one of those boxes. Another good one from Bud K. And like I said earlier, if there's something else you want to see me unbox, uh any any kind of thing, let me know. I hope you're enjoying these. I'll keep bringing them to you. I'm going to branch out into some other stuff besides just uh, knives and swords. But for right now, that's kind of what I'm fixated on. It's fun. Uh, and you definitely get your values worth. Like I said, I've, I've not been disappointed yet. And I just, uh, you know, that's over six times what I paid for that box is what I got. So pretty awesome. Another great one from Bud K. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.